Hey guys, fuel. Um, we are here. Hey, good morning, banker. He has no idea what he's in for. Today, we're actually gonna be running through the 430. We're gonna be talking a little bit about some of the interior pieces that we're gonna have to get done and get ready for SEMA. So I thought I would walk you through some of the imperfections, some of the things that we're gonna work on. And then while I talk about all of those things, I'm gonna talk about them in various volumes so that Banker doesn't hear all the things he needs to do. Because if he hears all the things he needs to do, he's gonna be really upset. He, he's walking into work. He has not even touched a vehicle yet and he's already dirty. I don't understand how that works. Out of the dryer this morning. <laughs> how are you, con you're not, you haven't touched anything yet. All right, let's talk about the interior. So one of the things that you're gonna notice about this car when you look inside is that it is very, very orange, which actually isn't that bad. I'm a huge fan of peanut butter. I like the color. I think it's really enjoyable, um, but it is, we'll call it worn because this car only has when i got it 10,000 like 700 miles and right now it has 11,000 miles and i've owned it for like two years for it only to have 11,000 miles and look this rough it, it is a little sad the seats are two-toned they got reupholstered at some point in their life if you actually look they're two different colors it only gets worse i mean the complete leather here is completely warped the carpet is supposed to be like pretty brown, but it's just like ugly brown. And because there is so much two-tone peanut butter, brownish things going on, it can kind of leave a lot to be desired if you look inside the car. So what we're gonna do to start it off is we actually partnered up with Exotic Car Gear, which is one of our sponsors. They've been somebody that has worked with me for a few years now, and they've been absolutely great. David's been a rock star. They're the ones that got me the front lip, side skirts, and rear splitter. Um, we're actually gonna be partnering with them for a center console change and a steering wheel change because the steering wheel on this thing is equally kind of, what would be the word? Like if moist, but dirty. What's like a word for dirty moist? Doist. Yeah, it's just rough. Um, and we never had a chance to do it in the first phase of when we built this car. So Exotic Car Gear came on board. They're like, let us help you out. We're gonna go up with a carbon fiber weave one by one to match the rest of the carbon on the car. That's gonna be the center console. And then they're actually gonna be making us a bespoke stitch steering wheel for the 430 for SEMA. So it's gonna have a new reference line. It's gonna have a new actual design. We're gonna go flat bottom for the steering wheel. And we're also going with the same similar carbon fiber weave. All the stuff that Exotic Car Guard car gear does a lot of it is bespoke so they make it as it gets ordered they've been absolutely great to work with super excited to have them there's the sponsor plug judge me okay i don't care be happy it's not a squarespace ad i don't know what to tell you you're gonna notice that this the seat belt is latched that's not because i don't know why i closed the door that's not because i enjoy having the steering wheel latched uh, or the seat belt latched it's because it's broken and to get it to go around you you have to like like, let me just show you. You see, there's a problem there with that entire process. Um, besides that, we might actually partner up with a good friend of mine on the seat reupholstery, or if interested, we might just swap seats entirely. We're not entirely sure yet. We're also gonna be working through some of the wiring for the new AccuWare E-Level system. So we partner with AccuWare again, we're gonna be upgrading the suspension, but that means we gotta put a new wireless mount, we gotta go through and we gotta put the controller in the right places, we gotta wire it up. We wanna make sure it looks nice, one of the things that if you've ever done air suspension setups, you know that having a trunk setup is all the rage. And we wanna do a trunk setup. And when we actually first had the car, we did a pretty neat trunk setup. The 430 actually comes with like a luggage case system rack thing. Of course, ours didn't, I can't imagine why. But we utilized the leather straps to strap down the air tank system, the CVT that we had from AccuWare, which is a three gallon CVT. Now, it works, um, but unfortunately it didn't work as well. The straps don't hold much down, so you can't bring them into a car or into the bedroom. So we're gonna need to get rid of these straps and we're gonna redo the interior 
uh, or frunk setup. And what we want to do is we partnered with AccuWear to do a dual three gallon setup with their new setup um, that has a whole new story, a whole new tech behind it. We'll kind of dive into that a little bit more later in the series, but we want to kind of refine this look more. So I've tasked Banker, who doesn't actually know that he's been tasked, with setting up a new frunk system. We want to get rid of this carpet if we can. We want to build something nice that kind of cleans it up, that still leaves a little bit of space maybe, but I've told him, or I will be telling him, or I'm telling you, the one rule, absolutely no wood. We're not doing the fucking wood. We're done with the wood, okay? Anything besides the wood. Put fucking tile in there, I don't care. You could put a bath, like, robe if you wanted to as a finish. Put grass. Good, are you? Breathe! Not a lot of big things, more just a lot of little things that I know some nasally at seam is gonna be like, that's not the right way to do it. You put a wing on a 430 and the color of your seats are wrong. So my goal is, is to actually have it set up different, but have it set up right. That's the goal. I don't care that it's different, but we wanna do it right. And last but not least, because there's small things to do with the car that Banker is not aware of yet, <clears throat> And because I haven't, you know, I don't plan on actually seeing him when I give him this, there is a, a, a laundry list of things that needs to be fixed in, in this envelope. I've, I've outlined it item by item. I'm gonna give this to you to give to him and then have him just kind of like read it out loud and just see how he feels because all of the stuff on this sheet's gonna have to be done in the next four weeks because the car's going to Gatlinburg and also SEMA, so. If he hits you, you weren't on company time. All right guys, so I'm gonna start with the interior. We have the center console already. Alex got that before the project started. So I'm gonna open that up so I know exactly what I even need to take out. And we're gonna start from there. I think there's more gear than parts in this box. We're gonna wear a hat this whole episode. It's like a dad hat too. So you FI guys will really like this. Here you go, you can, you can have that when you're wrapping birthday presents. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, that's pretty nice quality, actually. Look at that. Alex wanted me to give this to you. Oh, boy. Oh, this is his list of extra things. Hey, Banker, I love you. I'm sorry. We need to do the following. He's written a lot of these, you can tell. Rear splitter cleanup. The bolts are rusted. Front lip needs to be rebolted up. Well, that's what happens when you put steel bolts in, so stainless. Windows creak when opening. Need to grease. And the grease the glass. Careful what you ask for. Passenger door sags, needs to be tightened. Now the carpet needs to be redone. I could have told him that for free. We have an airbag light to get rid of with the new exotic car gear steering wheel. So it's gonna go to Ferrari. The frunk cannot have wood. He says he's sorry, but I don't like doing wood frunks anyway. I have an idea for that. We're, we're good. I'll mount the touchpad and make it so the cord doesn't touch the battery. It shorts when it does that. Great install the first time around. Headlights have cobwebs in them. I think they have since 2006 when this car was new. Uh, amber marker needs to go. Should we do yellow headlights? light covers. Is this a rally car? Taillights are loosey-goosey. Need to get new ones or LEDs. Also have a thing up my sleeve for that. Seatbelt is broken. Needs to be fixed. We don't need seatbelts. This is a race car. Battery drains. Can we find out why? Probably an old battery. Another I love you. That means this is getting harder. Full rebuff and decal teardown. That's not even me, so that's great. A new paint on calipers. Thanks. The good news is he wants this done for Gatlinburg, which is in like four weeks. And I get two afternoons a week to work on it with you fine fellows. So, we got a lot to do. So instead of undoing bolts, I think I'm just gonna cut them out with a sawzall at this point. 